in southern Germany. This is a test of the live feature and uh, the, so that's why I didn't tell anybody I was going to do it. Uh, you may recall that I had some problems accessing live uh, as from the 1st of September. I was at um, Caravan Salon and I was attempting to do live broadcasts all the time from Caravan Salon and I was unable to do it. And the reason I was unable to do it uh, well, I don't know, but anyway, so it's clearly working again. And so this is obviously your chance to ask questions about van life, uh, if you've got any, and also for the vehicles which I have here uh, in front of me right now. Um, I think the internet connection here is quite good, so I'm not expecting to have any problems with it. So uh, I'll turn the camera around now. Uh, in fact, remember how to do that. Yes, I do. I do. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry, you've got a bit of the gimbals there sticking out uh, to the side. But, uh, I might even move the camera a little bit. There we go. So, uh, this is the showroom of Death Lefts, as you can see from up there. And uh, showroom's this building here. And good morning, good morning. Uh, and uh, so this is the the vehicles they've got on display so we've got some caravans here we've got some cross camp uh, from Heimer right here uh, we've got their rentals which are now always telling people to rent not to, to buy rent first and uh, so you've got the mac rent here um awful name i know and uh so that what we do now is though we'll have a look at some of their vehicles and um, so they've got about uh, 12 motorhomes here uh, in total and so we'll go and there's a couple of rental ones sort of hanging around as you can see this rental one here is currently good morning Dave uh, this is currently uh, being um, uh, washed and some of the other ones got washed maybe they're washing them every day I don't know I mean Mine gets washed once a year, sometimes, if I remember. Anyway, let's have a look on this one here. This is Esprit uh, GT7150 um, from Deathlefts. Now, what this has got here, this has got a rather curious feature, which I quite like. I like the chairs, and uh, they've got these pneumatic chairs in them. <laughs> That's coming out. And so, just before I did this, I turned them around, and... I altered the heights so you can see the difference between the two so the one on the right the passenger one is at its lowest position and the one on the left the driver's one is at its highest position I thought that one there was uh, quite good yeah I'm even going to close the door because it's a bit cold here and I don't you know, last time I did a, a live I was underwear on yet but uh, uh, got a feel it would have been coming out had I had it with me before long. Anyway, so it gives you a view around this vehicle. Um, now, one thing Deathlefts do, which is really good, they have this really nice big kitchen in the and in the properly spaced apart. The interesting feature. I like I like the slow. It's not quite as elegant as automobile, but it's still quite quite elegant. And so we can open this the drawers like that. But we can also here we've got this. Um, central locking feature which I think is probably a bit easier uh, than uh, uh, locking each one individually possibly I mean Rapido have had the central locking now for some time and in here we've got this bed uh, uh, nicely contoured it's a queen bed it's stated it's, it, it's fixed height so you can't alter the height but I mean when it does have uh, proper storage as well beneath it nice burners is so 2020 yeah it's 20 it's all these days you know 2022 well it's not quite 2022 yet but it's two burners these days that's what people want uh at least that's what they're getting and that's what they want it uh when you've got a big van you've got plenty of space for it i think i, I think when you know when vans are small then uh, i can understand uh i can understand uh three burners. also these things here uh, somebody and uh so these things see they aren't ovens at all they grill. It's a grill, and uh, so I have to stop calling it an oven. Another thing is there was a lady I met a couple, uh, and um, they, they were at Heimer, 
and they went in there for repairs. The repairs to the fridge, and it wasn't one of these. It wasn't a new one, obviously. The vehicle was probably about ten years old. But the the fridge, I think they caught three thousand euros for a new fridge, and it was without the oven. And I said, well, why didn't you just repair it? And they said, well, repairing it would cost a thousand. And uh, I was thinking, well, I'd just buy a new one, and, but it wouldn't look right. So that was the problem. Uh, anyway, so here, I've got the, the bed comes down electronically, and uh, I might see if I can get a key. I, think I might be able to demonstrate the beds coming down electronic in the course of this demonstration from here. So we've got, an, oh, I'll show you in the garage as well. The garage is quite good. And there you have the garage. Yeah, not bad, that is it. Can't complain that. But uh, here, this Esprit GT, this is a this is a smarter looking one than the first one uh, for a couple of reasons. I mean, the up, the upholstery, the way it's been done up, is really really nice. Look at that. So uh, got these chairs as well, the ones I mentioned earlier. I do like it without the bed up front, but Deathlift says this sleeps five, and uh, well. You can make two sleep morning, Mark, and uh, you can make two sleeping places down there, certainly. Uh, and you've got two at the back. Now, here, I, d I was in here earlier. I thought I'd do the, I'll lay out the German layout so you can see what it looks like. And there we have it all laid out. Storage, obviously, under there as well. But, I mean, when it's in like that, it looks quite, looks quite impressive. Uh, I think the question is though, if you want it, oh, Globus T1. We're gonna go and have a look at that. I'm gonna see that one, Mark. Well, this the Globus T1 will be part of this presentation, uh, internet permitting. So, the, the um, they've got this feature here, which I don't know if I can demonstrate it or not. <laughs> well, I can't really demonstrate it, but um, you take the, the, the chairs come up and you've got these backs which go in here, so you've got it forward facing. Now, Shawson do this, and Challenger as well. Um, but to me, it seems like a lot of hassle, but that way you can get four people facing the front as the vehicle is in moving. And uh, what I'll do now is I wanna show you these parts which actually do that, uh, which you can see here. There we go, so this is the Got these chairs here, and that, yeah, these things here, yeah, they have got those holes in there, and that that's, that sticks in and makes you, and this this is all authorized. Um, we've got the paperwork for it, so there's nothing uh, untoward about it. But it's really uh, seems like a lot of bother to me for uh, to, to 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 go forward. So you so that you've got it, so it's used for seating as it is now. It's used as a bed and it's used for forward seating at the same time. Right. So as the request was for the uh, uh, the Globus T1. No, no. So I was going to say I'll go that next. I can't. There's somebody. There's somebody in there. But so uh, in the meantime, whilst we're waiting, we'll have a look in this Globe Trail from Deathlifts. This uh, camper van here. Which anyway. So I'll open the door. And there, so we'll have a bit of a look at it from here. And now this is a four-person van. Now, unfortunately, once more, I can't actually show it you in the space of this video. But here we've got this bed. And so that's what you expect a bed to be. But this is a bed as well. And this bed, it's quite easy to make, actually. It was very... Uh, uh, did actually put it together a couple of days ago, uh, and it was uh, it, it was very straightforward and simple. I can't do it with one hand though. And uh, so this goes down, this goes down the front. Now some of these beds often get the impression they're they're not particularly strong and they're going to break. And to be quite honest, I don't think this is much better. But uh, I think it's a little bit better than most of these temporary beds. The thing is, I get the impression though, if you would you really want four people in a vehicle of this size. I'll show you another thing here. This has been part of my campaign uh, on, on this front for some time. Uh, that Right, see this? You can put your hand through there like that, right? What does that mean? It means that all the corners are being used 
and I've been asking this in videos for ages, why are the corners wasted? Uh, particularly when storage is at a premium. And sometimes I can we don't have storage. For example, over the bulwark, it's gonna give extra headroom. But in something like this, I think that that is a, a really good feature. So it's blocked there, but it's not blocked on this side. Great, I like that. I like, I, I like that one. And another thing about this camper van here is this, is this uh, rather exciting um, washroom. Look how big it is. I mean, in a vehicle of this size, six meter van, you've got this huge amount of uh, space in in the washroom. So if I even come in now and uh, yeah, I'll turn the camera around again. There's me, so you can see how cool, you can see how cool it is because of the, <laughs> the, on, the, on the glass. Um, lots of space in here uh so that that uh, that that meets my approval okay this is the same two burners and uh, uh this you've got a bit of storage here um this all comes out as well in various various parts uh storage under it and uh uh storage under the chair and this is where you make the extra bed and uh, I, I think it's going over the top. And there'll be a charge, I can't remember what the charge is for the extra bed now, I think about 800, 799 euros or something like that, I can't quite remember what it is, but uh, it seems to me to be quite, quite a lot. I'll turn this off. And we'll go in to another one. Uh, close this here. It's great being able to do a live broadcast again. See if I'm getting this now. Yeah, we can. So this is the Globus T1 um, motorhome, and I get a impression I'm not using the right uh, lens. Anyway, don't know if I can do anything about that. Uh, I'll, I really like this thing here. I mean, it's uh, 599 centimeters by 220, as I recall. It costs 63,000, and so you've got got this table uh this uh, seating area here i'm sure i'm on the wrong camera here sorry i wouldn't normally be on this camera it should be on a different camera um uh, is that it no that's not it sorry don't know anyway sorry i'm trying to make the camera better i don't know how to do it you got this wonderful uh space uh, the, these mirrors, not mirrors, um, windows up here and down here you've got, you've got obviously your fridge, two burners, you've got a reasonable kitchen sink, uh, you've got, hey, I'll turn the, turn the lights on, and really excellent amount of space in the, in the washroom and here this has got to be a uh, the pièce de résistance uh, in everything right you want to get into bed so you've got a step down here right now in there you've got a wardrobe but as i lift this up here let's see I lift this up if i can try and lift this up there you can get in see how much space you've got here as well for storage and so you've got that wardrobe opens up from the front as well not only that you've also got that bit here which is accessible via that hatch outside now that in my opinion is really top notch and not only that you've got this wardrobe here as well so yeah this yeah this is really uh, very very nice uh, motorhome and um i've got to give you the bad points as well i mean the bad point is obviously it doesn't have a double floor and um, you know if if for example this could be brought back there flat all the way back of course i'd have to make the the thing a bit higher well i've just added at least 10 15 000 euros onto the cost but uh that that to me would be really perfect and uh yeah i think this is great so uh, we'll have a look on the outside as well. Uh, just, I'm just a bit concerned about this, why this thing's coming, the, the, the camera. There's me. So I, was, I had this on earlier and I thought I had the wide angle camera on earlier. 
anyway, that's uh, also didn't. That's, look how big that is. Enormous um, garage for a ve this a vehicle of this size, and if I come round here, there's also additional possibilities of making it bigger, which are the following. So here we've got the gas cupboard, and so the gas cupboard. Oops. So right, so you've got two, two, two there. But get rid of the gas cupboard, right? Put it um, under the uh, under there somewhere. The gas. Uh, there is space, I think. I mean, if somebody disagrees, please say so. I mean, there could be a reason why it can't be done. But then the gas can go under there, and with that. Um, you get more space in the garage, you get a refillable solution and I think there are legal reasons why you can't do it in Germany but um, as far as I'm aware no other com country has those uh, legal constraints so that's certainly what I would do if this were my vehicle and here, let's see if I can open this with two, one hand I can't oh, no, there we go so that's what we saw from earlier from inside and see inside the van so I left the thing open all right so that's that's you know I think that's great a, a little outdoor thing that's your toilet yeah that is an that's a brilliant vehicle in my opinion uh but also there's a Globus GT here this is a integrated model uh it's uh, one meter longer and about ten thousand euros extra but for as far as uh, integrated vans go this globus gt uh has it i think it's quite uh, reasonably priced and when i say that i'm obviously comparing it to the price of other vehicles so this thing is seventy six and a half thousand. um so uh got the bed up there uh the, this incident i said this is on the seventh generation um Fiat Ducato, seven generations of Fiat Ducato still being rolled out, but uh, there are vehicles here in the on the eighth generation. If the internet holds out long enough, I shall show them to you. And so here, German layout at the back, and here uh, we've got uh, a this washroom, which is I suppose reasonable enough for a vehicle of this um, this size. It also has this this thing. Um, a wardrobe that we saw in the in the first one. It's quite a, this thing here, which I think is a bit daft. There you go. That comes up as a as a door. And um, this has got two burners again, and it's integrated. So it's got the the sideboard coming down here. I do think though it looks better. You have got the sideboard, the same color as the dashboard. Uh, it makes it look a bit more. It's all it's lived in. Right, and um, what do you think it's good more for two adults, three children and a dog? Oh, a motorhome for two adults, three children and a dog. Jason, that motorhome which you get now is the one which is available because it's, it depends on when you want it. I know I'm just turning the question around completely because it depends when you want to use the van. Um, so that's, that's the number one feature is when is the van going to be put uh, into uh, into use if you're going to use it all the year round then you're going to have to think of um, uh, something along the lines of, of insulation and not all vans I mean the cheaper the van the worse the insulation and that, that stands that, that's logical um, when vans motorhomes are sold what what people will do the manufacturer will do is the features which are on display are the ones which uh they will boast about and market whereas the things which are hidden such as insulation such as for example um the chassis uh, uh you know how how the suspension works or things like that they're not the things you're going to see so uh, so that's the first thing i have to say the second thing is its availability, absolutely. Um, uh, plus 3,000, okay, so we've got, Mark's gonna make a suggestion, can you drive, or have you got a driving license which is pre-1996? Because that means you can drive, um, you can drive the larger ones. And if you can drive the larger ones, that'll, uh, 
that um, Lutz, is Heimer the best choice? I think Heimer is a good choice. I wouldn't say it was necessarily the best. Um, I would much rather prefer a vehicle, one of these vehicles now from the Heimer group, such as this Deathlefts one I'm in right now, than uh, one from other manufacturers, personally. I mean, it depends who it is, because there's one or two smaller manufacturers which uh, I really like. For example, I was at Silver Dream uh, one month ago, and I saw there was a vehicle there, and it went through my mind. Uh, oh, should I find out? Well, I did find out how much it cost. It was too expensive for me. But if I'd had 60,000 euros, I'd much rather have that uh, 13, 12-year-old Silver Dream than a brand new van, let's say, from Chausson or from uh, you know some, somebody like that. Uh, so that's that's the way I would I would look at it. And another thing is I'm talking about insulation is if you get the older vehicles, where the insulation is not as good because there have been major advances in, in insulation technology over the past uh, what um, even few years, uh, then uh, you know it's not just this XPS, this the, you know the blue stuff. Um, uh, that's used, but you've got other 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 things. You've got breathable technologies, uh, which which you know when you you're in the van and you're cooking, for example, and that you know that that steam goes somewhere. Or you're in the shower, that steam has to, it has to go somewhere. And, and, and you know, and when if the temperature outside is like as it is today, it was in minus something, um, uh, then. Um, uh, <laughs> It you know it's a it, it's a problem. So Rudy says he's getting a Carrado T338. Um, uh, so if if it's a, if it's now available, uh, that's great. So um, you know I, th there are one or two brands I don't I wouldn't uh, I'd suggest you don't buy. But on the whole, uh, it, the, it's a it's a problem of availability. Um, above all, then the next thing you want to consider is this is that when you buy sorry okay i want uh, to purchase a motor in the last years and it will cost more just want to make sure i uh, edge my bets with top quality right well in that case yeah you are uh, you are looking at much more much more much more money but what i suggest is is this also very much depends on the on the dealer here i'll take you into one of the these um well, just hoping the internet doesn't go off because the the uh the the um what do you call it not dynamic it's not in english the antenna is <laughs> is at the other end of the building um 100 percent certain uh car to go my challenge i said i'd take uh i take <laughs> i take one of them out um right so Things are things are gonna break, right? So, so you get it if you you buy this van here. Look, it's a Globetrotter XXL. It costs over two hundred thousand. It's an expensive van. Something's broken. Of that, I'm certain. And uh, I've just been in this. Something's broken. But uh, something will break. Oh, you don't know how something works, and you'll break it yourself. And that is absolutely one hundred percent certain. And as a result of that very much now now the dealer's getting the dealer uh, lots of uh, electricity and gas but rent and uh, all sorts of uh, which need to be paid uh, you know, all sorts of overheads so with the the dealer uh, what's the uh, what's the point of me constantly fixing this and uh, i've heard of uh no it's fixed so that that you know that is that that is a you know that's, that's a big that's, that's a big problem. So it very much depends on on on, on the dealer. And it's one of the things I say about Knaus is, which is my opinion, um, I, I, I don't don't buy Knaus because they've got they they're not they, things just don't get fixed. So uh, uh, right, so I got I got a message there. Sort of move closer to the antenna. I think the antenna is down here. But I'll tell you what we can do. Uh, be, we'll go into this Pulse Classic. I wanted to show you, sorry, scramble build. What's that saying? I don't know what that means. Um, um, I wanted to show you the, show you the, 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 the posh ones. So uh, anyway, ne never, never mind. Uh, we're not, we're, you'll have to see. You'll have to see the video uh, when it when it comes on. It's great that they've actually got an antenna which is this 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 strong. 
So to answer that question, what van do you buy? I'm afraid we're stuck with you buy the van which is available. And I would suggest you went for, once you've got, once you've seen what's available, maybe you could come back and then tell me. Uh, but another feature you would want to consider, of course, is the, um, yeah, yeah, I'll do, um, I'll be lazy. I normally don't do that. It's the bed layout. And what kind of bed layout do you want in your van? And I mean, do you want a queen bed like this one's got? Do you want the German layout? It's hard to get in the UK. Hello, gold. And um, do you want a... Uh, um, uh, uh, width-wise bed, and if there's there's more of you in there, then you're probably going to need some other types of conversion things. You're going to be able to need to convert this into a bed as well. Maybe you want something like this and get these drop-down beds here. Um, the connection's very bad, is it? Oh dear. Well, I'm, uh, this this is as close as I can get to. I moved down here, but this is just at the last. Um, a motor home to the nearest motor home to the uh, where I think the uh, the internet is so I can't really do much more than this and except to go back into the one I was in at the very beginning um, so if the internet's bad here I'm stuck if anyone else thinks the internet's bad please do make a uh, make 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 the same comment and if I get too many people saying the internet's bad then I'll just have to stop um right to come back onto the 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 subject here so you've got these things here like these drop down beds which I might be able to demonstrate I can demonstrate right I'll demonstrate it here just check down the front that nothing nothing's in the way so, um, yeah, I can demonstrate this. And no, I can't. Oh, 12 volts on. Uh, sorry, I can't demonstrate this. There's the... No. Oh, it's, oh, sorry, the lights weren't coming on. There you go. So you get a bed that comes down like this. And there, that's at its maximum. Not quite, I can take, put, take it down a little bit further. There we go. And that's now at its maximum. And uh, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so I the budget is around 150K Euro. Oh, 150K Euro doesn't necessarily want to spend it all, but quality value space is what I hope to make my decision on. Well, right, okay. And Dave says, I'm limited for driving space and fit, oh, 6.8 meter. I think a high MLT 560. Any only alternatives over six meters, but under 6.8. Yeah, I think the high MLT is uh, is brilliant myself. I really it was my favourite van. I'm a bit stuck now for a favourite van. And um, it's uh, yeah, I think I, I would I would go for the high actually. The only thing for me about the Heimer MLT is that the table is actually too small. But that's just for me personally, it depends. I mean, you might need you might need a big table, and uh, so if you get a uh, so I mean I I need a table like this, something like that, because first of all I'm a mess, and the second thing is because I've got when I've got all my uh, stuff out, so I've got my computer, I've got the disk drives, and all that sort of stuff is is already on the table, and then I might have uh, other other things related to whatever it is i'm doing and then uh i um i might have my food out as well so in front of me so i think the yeah, heimer mlt now to come back to jason's uh what's jason what's the name sorry jason yeah sorry uh jason's got 150k uh to spend yeah i would personally i think if i had that much money i'd look at i'd look at a uh, i'd look at a heimer um you can uh, that would uh, uh th there's also the final possibility is to actually get somebody to build it for you now getting something to build it for you will cost a similar amount right so it's not as i know when you talk with the vans i mean this van here i don't know how much it costs so exactly but it's about ninety thousand. this is a rental model but you're probably looking about 80 to ninety thousand because i don't know what the options are and you think, well, what, what costs eight ninety thousand? I mean, they're, they're probably paying about twenty thousand for the Fiat Ducato, and so what, where, where's all the rest of the money going? But uh, the the margins aren't all that great, 
uh, on things like this huge amount of work uh, in human hours to do something like this and you know the the equipment is you get is it, much more expensive you buy a fridge right? i mentioned the lady who had the three thousand euros for a fridge um a fridge placement without the oven uh, a fridge like this if you buy a, you go into uh, wherever you buy fridges from and it's like a couple of hundred euros for a fridge if that but these things here are three or four times more more expensive and they have to be because of the the technology that's used to make them so so uh, that that sort of thing is is uh, is understand is understandable um uh, so uh, if you've got something to build it for you it would depend on on their experience now the walls on so basically you've got the, this bit here is internally built the problem is often down here on the floor because i'm a big believer in double floors for insulation and so if you you get some you know, all the heimer vans have got insulated this uh, not not all death lifts ones but uh but the heimer have all got the 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 the, the double floor so i would i would look at that um as do carthago for example as well uh, for me, that's really that would be absolutely uh, an essential feature. Um, I think as for all, I, I do talk about um, uh, flat floors, and you know I think there might come a day when in your life when you th you think, well, I want a flat floor. I mean, uh, it mightn't bother you uh, when you're young, but I think if you're thinking of a very long term use in the same van, then you you probably would want. I think as you're getting on a bit a flat. A flat floor and also the flat floor has the advantage of uh, offering uh, all the storage ca capabilities as well uh, so uh you know there there there's there some of the things that i would i would consider yeah i'll plug push this one here back in when you move these these things need to be in position there's another problem incidentally i didn't mention this um with the with the beds is that these beds obviously you've got to when you move them up and down you've got, you can't have anything on them well i mean the sheet or two you know it's okay but you can't have any no people in them it's not and because the, the motors will break and uh, you can only sort of really use them for let's say a minute every 10 minutes something like that it needs to cool down after use and uh and there's a weight, even when it's uh, not moving, there is a weight um, restriction on them. So you, I would say that you wouldn't, it depends on, it depends on which one you're using, but you really 160 kilos, something like that is, 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 is a rule, is the absolute maximum. But that will be written in the, uh, in the instructions uh, for the uh, van. Oh, right. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's take a risk, and um, let's take a risk of the internet going off. And uh, yeah, no, I haven't been in this one yet. We'll have a look in this Pulse Classic, uh, and so you're looking again around ninety thousand, something like that, or something like this. I think this is also a rental model, and. Oh, this one's just being cleaned as well. Oh, it's got a very nice. Oh, it's got a very nice uh, feel to it. It's 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 got the feeling because the other ones are sort of everybody's sort of been trooping in and out with them, but this has a very nice, clean feel to it. And you can see there you go. So the toilet is freshly disinfected. When I, I had vans from them and I had, to, I had to clean the thing up myself. And maybe maybe thought I'd made such a mess that it was... Uh, um, anyway, I do believe in handing things back clean. <laughs> uh, Alright, um, again though, see, see with this, it, there's the, the, it'd be much better if the floor didn't have that step up there. Uh, right, so I'll tell you I'll do now. We'll take a risk. I'll uh, walk to the the end and we'll have a look at the top. Well, I think the top of the range one was actually the one we saw, the Globe Charter XXLA. Uh, and we've got a rear... Um, well, in fact, this, uh, there's two rear lounge models. This is the most expensive, but that's only because of the options which are on it and if it's empty then uh, we'll we'll go in there and risking of course 
a failure of the internet at the same time. So we're going to. Oh, sorry, the internet went off. The internet went off. Ah, oh, can I continue doing this? Can I continue this tour and show you the rest of it? Yeah, I'll show you how the bed works. Uh, because what we've got here, we've got this electric bed up the front, and uh, so you put the, the chairs down like that, and it'll go up and down. And I can see that I've, I've got a key, so, and I'll put it down. And so, right, so actually even the Carthago one, yeah, because this just sort of comes down flat, but the Carthago one comes down like a third of the way from the from the front as well. And so you've got that nice looking, and you've got here, you've got uh, stairs to get up. I mightn't be able to do this with one hand. Oh. I can't, yeah, I can't, I can't do that with one hand. So you've got, there's your steps to get up. Nice looking bed. And I'll take it up again now so you can see how it works. Although personally, I would prefer, if it were me, I would prefer a vehicle with a, a pull it down manually. But I, I, I really like this approach even though I know perfectly well it wouldn't suit me. And also, I mean, if you get a van 858 centimetres long, then uh, you've got the problem of parking the thing. And today I got, I got moved on, and uh, now I'm only seven metres. So, great. So, anyway, uh, you have to see this in um, uh, yeah, alternative videos, these these ones down here but my time here I have filmed the whole lot now I am currently in Isni in Algoy and uh, the plan now for me is my next place because I'm doing I'm doing history videos as well for those of you who don't know my channel it's called history on YouTube and so I'm going to a place called um, uh, Bretheim which is near uh, Rotamze and uh, that's in uh, uh, about 220 kilometers further north from here uh, from there i'm going to a place called rottenberg uh, which is noted for its uh, medieval structure and it's a it's one of only three walled uh, towns uh, in uh, germany and uh, here we'll go in one of these vans here to, to end this i think I, I, I like this one here i like the decor in here and from there uh, I'm going to go to Bad Kissingen in, and Bad Kissingen being uh, one of my, yeah, I'll turn the thing around, you can see me whilst I'm talking. And so Bad Kissingen, I'm going there for Abenteuer und Alrad, which will be held uh, next week. And I'm quite looking forward to that, that, that one there. So that's starting on Thursday. I'll be there from Tuesday onwards. So I hope to film a lot of off-road stuff. Now the weather, as you can see, it's changed. I'm now wearing a hat. I felt a bit ill actually on uh, uh, on one Wednesday. I didn't even leave my van. I just I felt I felt so bad. But um, anyway, I feel a bit better, a bit than that. But the people I was with in Austria, they they were ill. So I suppose it was only natural that I would get ill as well so anyway that's the plan for the moment i'm really glad to see that the live is working i'll try and do live if, if it's possible to do live from bad kissing but it certainly wasn't three years ago when i was there uh, but if it is possible i i'll, I'll do it and uh, so thanks very much for watching and all the best from from here from uh isni in, Al in algoy in southern germany Thanks for watching and um, all the best. Bye. Now how do I turn? Oh yes, I remember how to turn it over to here.